Hi, this is Dr. Greg Kunganian. Today we'll be going over the surgical technique for the Tessera SC Cervical Standalone Inner Body System. Using the standard surgical approach, expose the vertebral bodies to be fused. Prepare the end plates and perform the proper decompression for the given indication. Using the paddle sizers, insert the selected sizer into the disc base to determine the proper footprint. Once the footprint has been decided, use the trial to determine the implant height. Insert the smooth end of the trial into the disc base, stepping up in height until the desired fit is achieved. Once the height has been determined, you have the option to use the broach end of the trial to prepare the end plates. The disc space and vertebral end plates are now ready to receive the implant. There are two options available for implant insertion. For the freehand inserter, Align the three prongs with the screw holes and turn the tightening knob on the proximal end of the inserter clockwise until the implant is secure. The speed sleeve inserter allows insertion of the outboard screws without removing the inserter from the cage. Once you have determined implant height, load the corresponding speed sleeve onto the modular cage inserter by sliding the slotted end of the speed sleeve onto the distal end of the inserter. Guide it all the way back until the slot is captured by the pin on the proximal end of the inserter. Attach the inserter to the chosen implant by inserting the hook at the distal end into the center screw hole on the anterior face of the implant. Thread the speed sleeve down against the face of the cage to lock the cage on the inserter. Once both outboard screws are in place, the cervical inserter can be removed by rotating the knob located on the proximal end counterclockwise. Tip the inserter toward the angle of the center screw and pull backwards to remove the inserter from the cage. Once the cage has been properly loaded onto the chosen inserter, it is ready to be implanted into the disc space. For freehand placement, there are two options for awl and screw insertion. For the angled option, dock the angled awl guide in the appropriate screw hole. Now introduce the angled awl to create your pilot hole. Your screw can now be introduced by either using the angled or straight screwdriver. Select a screw and attach the screwdriver by inserting the distal end of the driver into the hexalobe head of the screw, and advance until the screw head contacts the cage and begins to resist rotation. The straight punch awl is self-guiding. Simply dock in the screw hole and provide forward twisting motion to create your pilot hole. Proceed with the proper screw length to secure the implant. Once all three screws have been inserted, you are now ready to lock your device. To insert the cover plate, locate the cover plate driver and insert the distal end into the open slot on the locking cover plate. Tilt the cover plate and push the two tabs up into the small holes above the outboard screws.
Once the tabs are docked in their respective holes, push forward on the inserter to ensure that the plate is flush with the face of the cage. Rotate the center post of the cover plate by gently turning the cover plate driver clockwise 90 degrees. A tactile click should be felt when the cover plate has been rotated 90 degrees. This rotation completes the locking step and the driver can be removed with a slight backward pull. Confirm locking by visualizing that the slot across the center post of the cover plate is horizontal. The construct is now fully assembled. If removal of the construct is required, remove the cover plate assembly with the tapered straight cover plate driver by rotating counterclockwise until the click can be felt and the laser line indicates the cover plate is unlocked.